Assalamu alaikum students welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to new series of lectures with name research series so in research series this is a first lecture focusing on what is research this is a very basic lecture to understand the term research research objectives research spiral and different types of research hope this lecture will be an easy way to understand research for the newly researchers including bachelor students carrying out mini research projects and mphil and phd researchers ready to start their research work so what is research first of all what is the meaning of the term research the term research is a combination of two words such as research simply means to search again or to examine carefully but what to search again means to search again any already experimental work done or any data already available again the question arises but why search again these already work done by another researcher this is necessary so that maybe any new knowledge any new fact can be achieved which could not be done in already work carried out by any researcher or to fulfill any gap which could not be completed in earlier research yahan pe काफी स्टूडेंट्स कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं कि सर्च और रिसर्च में क्या फर्क है रिमेंबर इफ वी ओनली जस्ट सी डेटा फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स लाइक एज गूगल विकिपीडिया और अदर सोर्सेज दिस इज अ जस्ट लाइक एज अ सर्च नॉट रिसर्च सो रिसर्च जस्ट इंडिकेट्स work done practically or scientifically on already done any topic and to achieve a new results some new facts some new knowledge so this is the research anyway to understand research further we have some more definitions like as research is a systemic process of discovery and advancement of human knowledge or it is a process to discover a new knowledge research can be scientific or purposeful means a fact a theory and a principle research objectives what are the different research objectives why research is done the main objective of research include to achieve a new insight to develop a new theory to study about a relationship between two variables research spiral what is a research spiral research spiral means the certain steps are stages for processing research work so the research spiral consists of the first most important point is to choose a research topic mainly choosing a research topic is the most important decision the key element to choose a research topic is the size of the topic the size should be not too much not too small to make the research topic more interesting a researcher should consult with other researchers with their research supervisors for good idea and also should review some previous research work with good impact in society number 2 research proposal 
what is a research proposal research proposal is a document prepared by a researcher before starting any research it just describes how you can plan to tackle your research work in a smooth way mostly uh, research proposal is required in different projects or applying any scholarships the researchers are asked to prepare a research proposal so this is also the main document required in research field now after one after this there's a literature review so what is literature review in research a literature review is a comprehensive summary of the previous published research on any specific topic after successful choosing a topic literature review will help to increase ideas about the prepared research topic literature review can be prepared or composed by studying scholarly articles books and other sources pertaining to research topic now third one thinking about methods research methodology shows the experimental work means different techniques or procedures applied to identify analyze the experiments about a proposed research work number 4 data collection means now start of research experimental work based on the research type analyzing data means after all experimental work the collected data should be analyzed through different sources finally there is a writing a research report means after completion all the research work there is a need to write a research report in a form of thesis dissertation research types research is divided into several types such as basic or pure research descriptive research applied research correlation research explain exploratory research explanatory research qualitative research and quantitative research so let's first discuss about the basic or pure research what is a basic or pure research basic or pure research deals with new scientific ideas and ways of thinking about the world it is a type of research approach to better understanding of a subject phenomena or basic law of nature this type of research is primarily focused on the advancement of knowledge rather than solving a specific problem now applied research applied research is a methodology or experimental based research used to solve a specific problem affecting an individual or group it is a type of research approach in which problem is already known to an individual applied research is known as non systemic research due to its direct approach in finding the solutions difference between basic and applied research most of the students feel difficulty to understand the difference between basic and applied research so here is the clear difference between these two research types so if we look at the basic research the basic research is based on the knowledge in the field of study 
means only just indicates the knowledge while if we see applied research it is the solutions for specific problems to solve specific problems so basic research is based on the it is the knowledge specific while applied research is the solution driven one more point the basic research is the theory oriented means no experimental work is carried out in the basic research it is just based on focusing on the theoretical knowledge so if we look at the applied research it is a practical oriented it is a experimental oriented the lab work is done in applied research explanatory and analytical basic research it is a explanatory and analytical while applied research based on the action oriented and synthetic now descriptive research descriptive research is also called as statistical research it is used to describe characteristics of population or phenomena being studied descriptive research focuses on frequencies averages and other statistical calculations correlation research what is a correlation research correlation research is a type of non experimental research in which a researcher measures two or more variables and understand and assess the statistical relationship between them exploratory research exploratory research it is a type of research that focuses the process of investigating a problem that has not been clearly defined or studies are investigated in the past explanatory research what is explanatory research explanatory research is a type of research approach that focuses particularly on explaining the aspects of the study this type of the research explains why means it explains why particularly phenomena work in the way that they do this type of the research answers why questions explanatory research is conducted during the early stages of any project qualitative research qualitative research is a type of research that focuses on the human or social problems this type of the research is based on deep interviews observational research case studies in past or current events quantitative research quantitative research is a type of research that focuses the collecting and analyzing numerical data the quantitative research is based on the data in the form of statistical analysis